Good morning. It's a storm a coming. They canceled Harlow School. They ain't canceled Cruises, the six-year-old school, but I gotta get whole uh, beaver trap set. I mean, I set. God, well, I can't even talk to myself this morning. Maybe I got a storm in my head. I got a little storm going on in my head. But uh, anyway, gotta go get the beaver traps, pull some, check some. It depends on how much rain we get at those those creeks and stuff flood. So anyway. <sighs> It's a storm coming. And it's me. I'm the storm. <laughs> Let's roll. I'm trying to beat this storm, guys. I'm going to go down here and check this uh, beaver dam right here real quick. And then uh, I decided. My buddy said the radar's supposed to move by pretty fast, but we'll see. So you can see this is a new bridge right here. It's a new bridge right there. These beavers have come in here and dammed up all of this. And that beaver trap is not broke. And I can't see anything over there, but I got one or two I need to check over there real quick and see if anything's in them or not. All right, I run back and got my waders on. I got a trap missing, but that don't mean I got anything. It just means I got a trap missing right now. So. I'm gonna try to go oh, as live as I can. Not live, you know what I mean. Oh, let's try to keep it going. Best I can. Oh, we just keep going. So, like I said, I'm trying to beat this storm. I had one miss over there. I had a miss over there and one trap that didn't have anything. Like I said, these beavers just come in here and they just dam everything up. Oh, all right. Yeah. Well, we got one beaver right here. So that's good. Be one less doing. Barely caught on my toes. Like I said, guys, I'm trying to hurry just for the simple fact. The storm's going and we got about five more places to check so if we can't get him out all right there you go one beaver down let's get this out of here and uh, wait on this storm and we'll come back and deal with all this Oh, Jesus. Whoa, I like just fell off the wrong way. There's a storm coming. Whew. Let's roll. Well, it might be just a little bit of rain. But we still got two more spots, three more spots to check. All right, let's go down here and see. I set a set here yesterday. It wasn't part of the problem as far as beavers damming up anything but I saw a beaver stick and I stuck it up for a little marker right there at the end. I don't see any beavers drowned or anything, but you never know. Uh, yep, trap well, trap still in there. Uh, anyway, all right, well, let's get out of here. Uh, <laughs> It's coming a flood.
Oh, I need to check down there real quick. Let's get out of here and check. Probably could do it in my boots, I think. Look at that water moving out of there everywhere. Just took a little bit. We got it. So I ended up getting soaking wet, horse. I ended up getting soaking wet. And uh, anyway, I got a trap hung up under the bank. The beaver come up, the beaver rod, beaver drain the rod come up again on the other one. So I got soaking wet with the rain. I left my tripod down there. The wind blowing so hard it blew the tripod over in the creek. So I'm gonna be careful. I don't know how much I'll be able to film. We're gonna try it. I got this one. Maybe I can find something to put that on. But uh, anyway. Let me see if I can figure all this out. I got a lot going on. <laughs> uh, uh, it's storming, storming, storming. Like I said, I had a caster mount set right there when the beavers come up there and get caught. Anyway, he swung around and he has got up in here somewhere. I don't know. I can't get that rod to budge one way or the other. He has hung up. But I know I got something because there's the kind of the claw marks right there that show he was trying to get up on the bank and he ended up under there somewhere and we just got to figure out how to get him but anyway i got to be careful with my phone because i don't want nothing to happen and lose all this footage as you can see my tripod fell over in the water there so that's why i don't have it on that we ain't got the blowing so strong anyway i got to figure this out somehow put my dry hoodie on i got so wet up in there First thing I want to do, see if I can feel it. Even if it's come off, I still need my trap back. I got my got my gun because I want to make sure if it does end up being alive, I can get it pumped knocked down. But man, see all these roots right there? That's a problem. Right there, or it's got the trap's got to be right there. Huh? All right, trap's still moving in there, guys. I got to figure out a way to get him. Get him knocked. I can see it still moving. That's why you never stick your hand up in there. I don't know how he's locked up in there, but we can get a look at him. Possibly. <laughs> and still don't see him, but I'll give y'all a look, see. Up in there, that trap is right today. So, just gotta figure out where he's at. Right, figure out how we're gonna get him. Ah, man. Took a little bit, but I got this big beaver knocked down. I'm gonna try to show y'all a bank then. Up under here, look up under here. This is a bank then, can y'all hear me? You just can't answer. These beavers come live up under here. They dig up under here. 
they undermine everything. So it looks like I probably did a lot of damage trying to get this dude out on this bank, but in reality, it's already already messed up. So we got this big beaver, and uh, I'll show you real Try quick. To show y'all. See how that water is right there? They come in all up under here. And that's a bank den. And they just live up under here and they'll just undermine everything. And we just gotta stay at them. All right. That's the last two beavers I had on camera. Sorry guys. That's the last two beavers I had on camera. And I got one down here we still gotta get out. And that's it. We have caught, today is Friday. We started last Friday setting. Tomorrow be Saturday. I got a few traps I'm gonna check tomorrow, but from Saturday to Saturday, we're looking at 19 beavers and yeah, 19 beavers right now. So, and then I may catch more hogs, who knows, but whew, I feel something cool in my waders. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, let's get this bad dude. Get him all out of here. He's up, tangled up in the roots, but I was gonna show you. Got him by the two toes right there and held him. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's the one we wanted right there, son. Yeah. The one we wanted. <laughs> Golly, what a toad. Yeah. <laughs> Man. That is a beast. That's your damn builder right there. Woo! Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. All right, I gotta figure out how to get my trap out of the roots. We'll ease on up here in just a minute. Golly. <laughs> oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Talk about big bone and wide tail. As you can see, that flood we got, the water, water's moving a lot more than come in pretty quick on us. I gotta go down there and find my beaver. Remember, Y'all remember the, when we first got here, it was not like this. So now let's go see if we can't find what we need.
Hey guys, that was almost serious right there. That was almost serious. I lost my other rod. I had two rods over there. I thought I grabbed the wrong rod, not realizing that wasn't the beaver. And I thought the beaver had come off because I was pulling the rod up and the trap was coming. The beaver wasn't coming. So I thought the beaver was also, I was just going to reach down there and grab him. It was my other rod. I lost it. Oh. Hey. Let me tell you something. When it comes to flooding, guys, don't play around. That. Now, take, don't get me wrong. It's shallow that way. But if it was flooded and that was deep water, you're gone, cuz. You're gone. It's that serious. You can't fight that water. Had I not been able to grab that other rod that was staked down with the beaver, I'd have been down the creek. I'm soaking wet again. I know a lot of people say, I don't care nothing about that beaver trapping well. It can be just as dangerous if you let it. It's wild hogs. Anyway, let me get my composure, get this beaver out of this trap, and uh, get back up here to the truck. I'm soaking wet. Be riding home in my underwear. Come on. Caught these two beavers. I've been wanting these beavers so bad. The last two I had on camera. And uh, I'll leave the camera up, let this water flood out of here, and see if we get any more. But I knew I only had two beavers that kept working that dam. And man, look at that right there. Golly. That's a toad there. Anyway. Woo! Looks like I won't be no dove trapping this weekend anyway. Let's get some more waders. Yeah. Oh. I don't step on nothing on the road here. today 19 since uh today's friday since saturday caught 19 19 beavers and uh 46 wild hogs i give them hogs away yeah i live in matheson yeah over there across from the traceway area you know what the traceway restaurant is uh just across the road No, I got a guy that gets them too. Yep, yep. Everything. Don't let them go to waste with my time sometimes. Hey, you have a good one. Well, looks like I'm riding home in my underwear. I do have a uh, uh, towel in there. So. Anyway, big bone and white tail. Let's see what the rest of the day holds. <laughs> New day. Oh, excuse me. Anyway, back on the beaver line. And I'm right here. Oh, checking this culvert out right here. I had actually pulled that water down yesterday. It was actually a lot higher. As you can see my rods right there. And uh, usually that's underwater about six inches or so. So hopefully, uh, like I said, we're almost done here. I do have a little uh beaver up under there right now but <clears throat> that being said yesterday was pretty rough uh but hey we got through it and then uh i just took me a good hot shower and dealt with uh that and took harlow we went shopping a little bit for some man stuff and whatnot but anyway so anywho we just right here and you can see old buddy i need to get him knocked in the head but anywho's 
we're back on the beaver line. This makes number 20 this week. So, anywho, let's get it going. was in the way. His leg was in the way for me to get that in there. There you go. A little beaver, but still a beaver. Well, guys, he's a little beaver. Not much of a beaver, but I'm, the water's starting to get too shallow for the drowning rods. But like I said, it's a little, little young beaver this spring. This spring beaver. So, anyway, I'm going to get this broke out a little bit more, move some more water. And like I said, I'm pulling traps mainly uh, on this this section of, section of this uh, county, mainly because I've caught this will be 20. Uh, or 19 in this this side and uh it's got a big frost coming big freeze like 11 degrees low for next couple of days uh starting monday or tuesday today is saturday so anyway i'm not going to be dealing with checking these traps in that kind of weather where i've already been hammering them pretty hard so i'm just gonna pull a few traps and then we still have a few to check but i'm not gonna be riding all over the county uh with a big hard freeze going on. So anyways, <sighs> might be trying to catch some hogs. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This is the dam I fell in. And you ain't gonna believe in this. I had another beaver show up. It's a young beaver. Looks like one of those young ones we had on that I caught earlier. But uh, he showed up right there where that water's kind of overflowing right there. And, uh, but I just wonder if my other trap and my, oh, uh, dang, what do you call it? Drowning rod, it's got to be in that deep hole right there. Surely the goodness it didn't float all the way out of here. But we're going to go down there and just dig around just a little bit and see if I can find anything before I decide what I'm going to do as far as setting another trap and whatnot. So we'll see. I think I've already spotted it. <laughs> Got it! <laughs> Got it! Now we're gonna set it! Heck yeah, come on. Alright, well, we got that done. Need to go feed a hog trap and whatnot and get that done. I gotta finish up the day, but anyway, y'all be careful out there. Y'all seen 
Cold water can get you a little wet. <laughs> All right. Woo! All right, it's cold this morning. I had two traps set right here. Uh, there's still a trap in that one. I don't see a trap. I didn't feel a trap in that one right there. It's a culvert right here, as you can see, with the beaver stops stopped up. That one right there. Uh, I'm going to pull that stop and get some water draining soon. But anyway, and then I had a trap across the road there, a little conner bear crap. Not crap, trap down in there. So let's pull up and see this trap if we got anything there. And uh, welcome to a new day. It's cold. <laughs> it's very cold. Oh, man. It's so cold. It's so cold right there. Oh, yeah. I need some neoprene gloves. Feel something. <laughs> oh, 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 oh my goodness first of all this is a tank right there oh goodness second of all he is held by the toe oh my goodness oh my goodness is a tank <laughs> get that out of the way Look at that beaver there, son. I can't even pick him up. I can't even pick him up. <laughs> what a beaver. God. Oh, my goodness. A tank of a beaver. Caught him by the toe right there. Held on by the leader. Just enough to drown him. Oh, my goodness. Oh. <laughs> that is a tank, guys. That is about as big as beavers you're going to get right there, son. Golly. What a toad! Look at that! Look at <laughs> look at that! <laughs> oh my goodness! God, what a tank of a beaver! Oh my goodness! That is a big beaver! <laughs> oh my goodness! All right! Oh! <laughs> God, what a beaver! Oh! <sighs> Golly, that song got a paddle on him right there, buddy. Whew. All right, well, like I said, we're on a new piece of property here, and they're, they're draining up these roads and just flooding out. So, anyway, that is a tank. That's the ones you want right there. That's the dam builders. That's the culvert uh, stopper uppers. Man, what a beast. <laughs> oh. Look at that, guys. My hand is all the way spread out, so, golly. Okay, guys, got a little water running there. I had a beaver trap right down in there as well. Uh, I actually had a beaver trap up under those logs right there, but I don't see the trap. Let's go down and see what's going on there. So I had a trap there, don't see it. What's going on? What's this up there, huh? I see something back there. Is that? Hold on. I see something back here. Hold on just a minute, guys. I hate y'all had to see my shadow. Don't make good film when you see my shadow, does it? All right, we got something. We got a beaver right there. We got something right there. Get this thing set up so y'all can look at me. <laughs> Another big beaver. Oh. Oh. It's young. <laughs> oh, I didn't have it staked down, and he made it 12 feet, 12, yeah, about 12 feet or so down here, just kind of bouncing, but anyway, <laughs> oh, another giant beaver, yeah, big old beaver, there's two big old beavers in here, come on, all right, I don't have my setters, I'm going to get up out of here with this one, yeah, little beaver, <laughs> Look at the size of some tails right there, son. Whoo wee! 
All right, so we got that reset there, reset over there. We caught, that's what you want on these new places. You want to catch those big ones right off the bat. And, and they're just those dam builders, those culvert stoppers. And uh, even though the young ones, yes, they will, but they got to learn more. And they're just not as ex experienced, in my opinion, on rebuilding back fast. So I may get just a little water flowing right there just to draw some attention to any other ones like i said this is slew back up in there they're coming from that way so we caught one but the reason that that uh beaver bounced around down the creek a little bit is when he swam through there instead of it just going straight on the neck or or straight on the back he had actually got his shoulder in so it was kind of hold him a little bit and, and he just kind of splashed around because i didn't have it staked down i didn't stake it down because the water wasn't deep there and uh, i mean it's not like he could go very far but anyway he's expired we got him two big old beavers and we got a few more spots to check uh but anyway let's roll on to the next spot come on well guys we're at the next spot and there wasn't a whole lot of sign here but what i did know but but i talked to the uh the supervisor of this area and he said it, it's always a problem here so i went on and said it just to kind of preamp uh the situation because they come in here and they just dam up this whole this whole part right here just like you've seen on other, everything else but anyway i don't have a good spot to set up my tripod and whatnot so i'm gonna set it up here and go over there and i got two traps and i can see where, the, where it's tore up on the bank there and uh, i can see a little bit of tear up over there so i'm gonna go over there and see if i got a uh, beaver or otter or something in there uh, or whatnot so anyway stick with us i'm gonna set it down right here and you'll just have to squint a little bit to see over there <laughs> First set was right here. I had a caster mound set right here. Nothing. Nothing. Had a miss. Ah! We'll get him out and I'll get this reset and uh, meet you back up in the truck. How about that? Look at this beaver right here. Whew. All right. Check out this. The undercolor of it right there. It looks almost like snake skin. It's got a good white color to it. You know how that one does it. Anyway, thought it was neat. Like I said, it's not a big beaver, as you can see, compared to that one, but it's a beaver. All right. Well, let's move on. You got one more here, and I, got, I think I got two more, maybe two more. Anyway, we'll check them out, see if we can't keep hammering. All right, well, I got one more beaver in there and I'm not giving up till I catch that beaver right there. He's giving me fits, I got him on camera. He moved my trap, he caught my trap. <laughs> but he ain't got caught, so. Uh, I'm not giving up on this beaver right here, but any which way, we're at, we're at 22 beavers this week, so. Anyway, not bad, but this hammer head right here, son. Oh my goodness, that's a giant. Anyway, let's roll on back to the house and see what we got going on. And uh, they want to take my wife to eat. And uh, I better trace away a little bit. Unless she wants to eat that beaver. What y'all think? Think she's going to eat that beaver? 
Okay, I'll eat that baby. <laughs> All right, we'll see y'all tomorrow. We got weather coming in tonight. We'll see what it looks like in the morning. Y'all stay tuned. Will it be snow? Will it be ice? <sighs> Will it be me kissing these giant mice? Whoop. <laughs> Got him. Right there. Good morning, guys. Looks like we finally caught the beaver I was after. Oh, I even put the old Bucky's sweatshirt on, back on, cleaned it up, and got it back on. But anyway, uh, I need to get this dude shot real quick. All right, All right guys. <laughs> All right, man. I'm so sh I'm so shook up right now. The game warden stopped by. He had checked me. Found a few things. <laughs> He found a few things, but he got me straight, whatever. And uh, we had a good long talk and uh, whatnot, so it's all good. <laughs> it's all good. Uh, but anyway, oh, let me shut that door. I don't want to lose my participation trophy. Oh, man. Oh, but anyway, got everything worked out, situated, and appreciated. And uh, don't forget... Like I said, law enforcement's out here to enforce laws that need to be forced. And as long as you're not hurting somebody, causing a threat to somebody, things can be worked out in the appropriate manner. So I'm never above that. So I always try to, I, well, I don't always try. I do always help uh, with the law enforcement and whatnot. So <laughs> anyway, I was talking to him about, so over in Clay County, and a lot of y'all hadn't even told this story yet. Over in Clay County, I was going to feed hogs one night. And uh, I think it was. No, I was going. I can't remember what I was doing. Anyway, I was going to the club and I go by and I seen this sheriff's department. He was pulled. I had this guy pulled over. It's dark. Well, by the time I go to the club and do what I need to do and come back, it's been, been 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Well, as I'm coming back around this curve, I see the blue light still in that same spot in that driveway. And right when I'm pulling up, dude. The dude grabbed the, the law officer, and next thing I know, they was rolling on the ground. And uh, I slam on the brakes and get out, and my instinct was I didn't. So, like, if it had been like a man against a woman or something, my instinct would have been to grab my pistol and try to engage with the situation. Or do what I do best and grab my phone and go in there like an episode of Cops. <laughs> As I as I got out, I thought there ain't no need in getting out with a gun because the law officer, they're rolling on the ground. If he sees me, he might not know who I'm with or who I'm for. If I'm there to help or there to be an enemy. So I just jump out and go down there. And as they're rolling, I ask the officer, hey, do you need help? Do you need me to engage? Now, I know y'all looking at me like, what he going to engage with? But I'm going to tell you something. I kicked the dude in the eye when I was in junior high and made his eye socket. So I knew I still got one kick in me. I going to help him. I didn't know what they was arguing and wrestling for, but... Anyway, he said, no, I, I, I got it, I got it. And as they rolled, he finally got him, he got him locked, pinned. And I'm telling you something, the law officers, they know how to pin your arm. I'm talking about pin your arm, and they will break it. And I, I witnessed that they can handle you when they want to. But what, during this whole ripper rotus of this going on, when I asked him, did you need help? He said, I don't think so yet. He was trying to keep me out of it, trying to keep me from getting hurt. And I saw that the body cam of that law officer was laying on the ground, face down. So I knew what to do. I grabbed that body cam. <laughs> hey, hey, I was down there in a the fight like this. Hey, he is. <laughs> Get it. <laughs> I was right down the milk stove. But anyway, so I appreciate all the law and what they do and what they have to deal with. Because like I said, sometimes we think things are simple and could probably work through, and they can be. And But then everyday life, these officers, whether it be game warden, sheriff's department, police department, uh, even the the uh, fire department, stuff like that, things like that, they had to deal with a lot of people in a lot of different situations. A lot of it's always has to do with, the most aggressive. Is, it has to do with probably domestic messes a man's mind up where he don't think right. He thinks somebody's against him or the alcohol. And y'all just go out there and be the best people y'all can. And like I said, don't ever think that oh y'all's above the law. I still have issues where I don't do things right or forget. And hey. Bought lessons is the best lessons. Come on. <laughs> but I ain't scared of none of them. You know what I'm saying? I mean, the tickets, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I'll be scared of the law. <laughs> He'd be like, sir, you got uh, you got your license on you? 
Man, I couldn't even find my license. <laughs> it looked just like me. Oh, but anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna hush now. We got the beaver right there, boys. Oh, I had a trap set right here, and then I had that one on a chain. I got tired. I got tired of that old dude giving me the slip, and we finally got him right there. So uh, I put that one on a chain, and we got him. Whew. Thank you, Lord Jesus. This was the last one I had on camera. We're going to bust this down best we can, get the water moving, get this beaver out, and move on to the next spot because it's cold. And Daddy need them heated seats, baby. Come on. <laughs> beaver <laughs> all right guys well i got that water back running get this water down in here move on to the next spot since i, I took my camera and everything since i know for the last two or three nights it was only one beaver i believe we got them all so we're moving on and uh we caught five beaver out here five or six out of here i can't remember i had to look at my sheet i got it up there but anyway oh, that's a nice beaver guys it's a real nice beaver. <coughs> Let's rock. All right, guys, you can see it's cold and we're getting a little weather. I got a few more traps to check. The windshield is freezing up uh, as I'm going down the road. It's just a little bit of weather, but it is freezing up on the windshield as I'm going down the road. So uh, we gotta keep an eye on these bridges and whatnot. still set here the beaver sticks is all right there anyway i'm gonna try to pull some of this water out what i'm gonna try to do and i may try to put a camera over there but anyway we shall see well guys there you have it uh this has been about a couple days of beaver trapping and on the line with y'all and like I said, we got to be safe out there. We do what we got to do. We got to make sure we abide by all the laws and rules and regulations of everything. And like I said, I'm not above the law. And sometimes I just have to be reminded of things too, you know. So we'll talk about that on the Yawp Yawp podcast. So y'all go over there and listen to what me and my wife got to talk about all the things that I forget and do. And I hope that some of this is educational on why we do it here in the state of Mississippi where beavers are a nuisance just like wild hogs. And even though they, they destroy and destruct something a little bit different than the wild hogs, they got to be controlled and managed here in Mississippi, and I'm the guy for it. So uh, I have been the guy designated for it. <laughs> but any which way, uh, I hope y'all enjoyed it. We got winter storms coming uh, for Mississippi. I think the low tonight's 11, something like that. I know you northern people, I understand. I understand. Y'all used to it. <laughs> but y'all come on down here when it's 105 and the humidity is 100% and have a conversation with me. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Any which way. Oh, I appreciate all the support. Like I said, we knocking heads and, well, we feeding dogs. <laughs> but any which way, I'm doing what I do. I'm a trapper from my trailer hood to yours. Y'all have a good one. God bless. And as always, Jesus loves you. Ow!